A day at the open is an early start. You're going to walk a lot, and you're going to see a lot, and you're going to do a lot. Morning. Morning. How are you? Oh, yeah. Tired? <laughs> I just decided while I was still around that it would be fantastic to have the three of us go to an open. That was right down. down. It's was was your only chance, really, to see the top 156 in the world. After you. And I think for Nathaniel as well, at a very early stage in his golfing career, I thought it'd be great for him to see how it's really done. You're listening to At The Open Radio on open.com. Grandad has told us so much about the Open. Nathaniel, I think Darren Clark's about to tee off. First time in 68 years. He can't hear you. I didn't expect uh, how big it was going to be. And it's taking photos. You see the welcome to the Open. You start to get a sense of scale that I, I didn't quite have the measure of before coming. Yeah. Yeah. Justin Rose is with Kepka today. That'd be a good one. What do you want in the shop? Yeah, let's see that on you. Do you like that one? I think the one thing about the Open is that everybody switches on. You feel a sense of community. The crowds are huge. There's real passion there. Oh, Sergio. Well, I don't know of any other sport that you can actually get up so close to these guys. The generosity in people to allow the youngsters to be up close. I was beside Dustin Johnson, who was a metre away. Shane Lowry, Justin Rose. The atmosphere, right, even walking around in the tented village. Can we try going there? Kids straight away want to head for the swing zone. Josh, that's a good one. Now it's your turn. He isn't the best. Another half of Port Rush gone. I just thought it would be fun <laughs> to get better. Have you tried fishing? <laughs> You know, as a father whose son has just got into golf, and he's having a ball. Brooks here. He's high-fiving players. I high-fived Brooks Kepka, Tony Finau, Jordan Spieth. That might never happen ever again. Watch Ricky Fowler here, okay? You can see how far they're hitting it over there. I'll give you a little secret. He's, he's met some of his heroes. Make your favorite club your part. You're never too old to get uh, starstruck. Oh, I'm the granddad. When uh, somebody at my age gets to meet Tom Watson. This is going to be your favorite club? Potter. Add up a <laughs> Fantastic. Together, we're all experiencing it. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Getting rained on and all of that. They're all memories that you share. <laughs> Sometimes you can get away with things when Mum's not here <laughs> for donuts. You do realise that these memories are very, very special. What are the key moments in life? What are those moments that matter to you as a family? And I couldn't think of a better way to sort of spend that time Great with job. my father and my son for something that we could cherish forever. <laughs> to be able to uh, say we were there. For them, this will be the first of many. And I hope they'll bring me from now on. <laughs> Things, I suppose, have to come to an end, and that is it from us here at Royal Port Rash. I can't believe I've just seen that. I don't think he can hear you. <laughs> <laughs>